Everybody in Kenya is talking about it. The nomination of the very first woman to be a candidate for Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. It is a milestone. Our women have come very far yeah, in fighting for space on the decision-making table. Congratulations, Martha Wangari Karua. You have done the country proud, including your supporters, like yours truly, who have supported you since 2013. I actually voted for you in 2013. Now, I can hear some of you already saying that, Oh, Chris, you predicted that somebody else would be made the deputy president. Okay, I was wrong. But we must also remember that in politics, the situation is fluid. People change their minds. And especially a man like Raila, when he sees an opportunity, like this golden opportunity has grabbed and completely changed the discussion <laughs> and the mood of the country, you take the opportunity. You don't stick yeah, like glue. Nothing is written in stone. Yeah, if you can change it, if you can do it differently, if you can do it better. And I strongly believe that is what has happened in this case. And Raila Odinga and Azimi have come out as winners yeah, in this decision that has generated so much excitement in the country. You know, somebody I know called me immediately after the announcement and they told me, Chris, you were wrong. You know what my response was? Yes, I was wrong, but I'm not mourning. I am celebrating because I've always believed that we Kenyans have a debt to Martha Karua that we have never paid. Her role in the second liberation of Kenya, her role in fighting for a better Kenya, Kenyans have never really truly recognized this great Kenyan woman. And it pleases me and brings tears to my eyes that finally, 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 people have seen Martha Karua. It is a very proud moment for all of us who have been following politics closely. Anyway, let's get on with my show today. Yeah, and please don't forget, let the blood flow. Yeah, regulars on this channel know what I'm talking about. My ebook about the clashes yeah, in 208. And interestingly, Martha Carol also features in the book. So make sure you order today. Yeah, very fascinating information. Let's get straight to the show without taking any more time. Karibu sana, and as usual, enjoy. In one master stroke, Raila Odinga has managed to change the political mood in the country. Now, as we have been saying on this channel, politics is all about emotions. And how do you get people with the right emotion? You get them in the right mood. You know, this man Raila Odinga <laughs> is not called a guambo for nothing. He understands politics totally. Because the truth is, the entire country is very excited about this historical move made by Rail Odinga of nominating the very first deputy president or even vice president under the old constitution yeah, to run for the presidency. This has never happened before. Martha Wangari Karua has made history. Whether or not the team of Raila Karua or Rarua, as some people are putting it, 
whether or not this is the team that will win the August 9th elections or not, Martha Karua has already landed herself into the history books. But even in the celebrations and excitement of this nomination, let us quickly look at the political implications. Will Martha Karua enable Raila Odinga to harvest more votes from the tricky Mount Kenya region? That is a question many people are asking. You know, Martha Karua is a very seasoned politician. She's a seasoned campaigner. She has her supporters. She has her admirers. Yeah. And therefore, in my opinion, the fact that she is the running mate to Ray Odinga will make a difference in the number of votes Rayla receives. I believe that. Look at it this way. There are many people who would not have given the Rayla ticket a second glance. But with Martha Karu on that ticket, there are many potential voters countrywide who will now take a closer look at the ticket. Some of them, who may never have dreamt of voting for Azimio, will now sit up and pay attention. Some of them will vote for Azimio, and the presidential pair or the presidential candidates, Ray Odinga and Martha Karua, your president and deputy president, or running mate. Now, as far as the woman vote is concerned, that one is a bit tricky. Because historically in Kenya, women seem to shy away from voting for fellow women. Yeah. Wanawake, inaonekana, Kenya. Hudarao, wanawake, wenzao, sana. Wanakata kwa pigia kura. Yeah. In very many instances, we have had very many excellent women candidates. But when the men take to the podium, the women change their minds. If you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, we're dealing with human nature. Yeah, and that is something which is in the nature of our ladies. Indeed, ladies all over the world. But my appeal to them is that this time, they should stand above their personal feelings, personal emotions, and vote for a better Kenya. Because I believe with all my heart that voting as Mio would be voting for a better Kenya. You know what has happened now with the candidates clearly, yeah, the ones who are going to be in the ballot, clearly displayed something very interesting emerges. On one side, we have two prominent personalities from the struggle of the second liberation. Yeah, both Martha Karua and Raila Odinga played key roles. On the other side, Kenya Kwanza, we have two prominent members of the draconian rule of President Daniel Turuti Charapumoy. People who opposed democracy. People who opposed change. People who wanted the status quo to be maintained. Okay? So things are being made even clearer for Kenyan voters. You either vote for change or you vote to return the old draconian ways. And yeah, that's what I totally believe. Because both Deputy President William Samoy Ruto and his running mate, Rigadi Gashagwa, first of all, those two gentlemen are famous for their tempers. Both those two gentlemen do not have any record to speak of of fighting for a better Kenya. That's the truth. And the fact that they are from the old Moi administration, the old Moi system, yeah, that so many Kenyans suffered under, yeah, just underlines who we are dealing with. Because the truth about human nature is that humans never change. Can you ever expect a cheetah to suddenly turn into an antelope? Or a lion to suddenly turn into a domestic sheep or a domestic cat? It doesn't work like that. Yeah. And this is why in western countries, 
when people are vying for offices, the public are always very careful to look deeply into their history, their biographies, what they have done in the past, how they behaved in the past. That is very important. And I believe it should also be important for Kenyans as we head to the polls on August 9th. But in my mind, the biggest and most important reason why the nomination of Martha Karua is not only significant, but the right thing, is as follows. If anything happens to the president, God forbid, who takes over office until the end of the term? It is the deputy president. Now, I don't know if Kenya Kwanzaa considered this. Because, can you imagine a president Rigadi Gashagwa in office? How will he make decisions? How will he behave? How will he take critical decisions that affect millions of Kenyans directly? Is he a safe pair of hands? Will you feel safe in the hands of Rigadi Gashagwa? That is the question. However, if you come to this other side, I would never lose any sleep with President Martha Karua inside State House. Never. Not only is she a safe pair of hands, but she has a well-documented record of doing the right thing. Even under intense pressure, indeed she would make a great president one day. It's very interesting because in 2013, I voted for her. And that was my thinking then. And it is still my thinking now. She would make a great president in the future. And let this be a stepping stone yeah, for greater things for this woman who has given so much of her life for a better Kenya. You know, all these things are going to become much clearer when the debates start. Because apart from the presidential debate, the debate of presidential candidates, I believe we're also going to have debates of deputy presidential candidates. And I can't wait to see Martha Karua versus Rigadi Gashagwa. <laughs> I'm laughing because I can imagine what will happen. Martha Karua, to be honest, Nasio Matusi, is on another level. Now, just a quick reminder about my ebook, Let the Blood Flow. Yeah, you can see details on your screens right now. Please take action because this offer is coming to an end very soon. Until next time, this is Chris Komekuja.